Hey everybody, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel. And today we're gonna to talk about how to thread a metal pipe. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we're gonna talk about three different ways or methods to thread a metal pipe, okay? And we're gonna talk about three different tools that you can use to do that. Now the first one is what we have in front of us, and this is called a ratcheting metal pipe threader or a ratcheting pipe threader. Why is it called a ratcheting pipe threader? Because the mechanism is a ratcheting mechanism that allows you to thread the pipes. But first, before we discuss that, Let's talk about these circular objects that we have in front of us here. And these are called the dies or the threading dies. Now the die or more specifically the die head contains the dies. Now the dies are the teeth as you can see right there inside the die head. Those are the teeth that cut into the pipe. Now the teeth on this one look pretty old and rusted, right? And I tried to cut into a pipe before I made the video just to make sure it was good and it was giving me a little bit of trouble cutting into the pipe. So they're probably a little bit old and need to be replaced. So let's look at a more optimized die head. Now, as you can see, the teeth in this one seems a little bit brighter. The metal is more polished, meaning that it's probably newer. And uh, I tried this one as well, and it cut into the pipe just, just great. Now, most pipe threaders, whether they're manual, like this ratcheting pipe threader here, or mechanical or electrical, come with, you know, different sized dies. For instance, you see one, two, three, four, five, six different sized dies here, and they correspond to the inner diameter of your pipe, okay? So for instance, this one right here is for a 3 8 uh, inch size pipe. This one here is a 3 quarter inch die. This is a half inch die. This is a three quarter inch again. This is a one inch die. And this is a one and a quarter inch die. So now that you're familiar with the dies or the die heads, we're gonna talk about how to put this ratcheting pipe threader together. Now it comes with a handle, okay? And that's this, it comes in two pieces that you have to screw together. So let's do that. We'll take this portion and screw it into this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then we're gonna take this ratcheting mechanism, okay? The ratcheting head and screw the handle into this. So with the ratcheting head, you can interchange any of the dies in the head. So let's take out this one, for example. And you can install any other die in the ratcheting head. So you can take this, for example, and put it in there. Like that. And take it out. So let's talk about the ratcheting mechanism for a second before we thread our pipe. Now, just like a ratchet wrench, like the one I have here, you have the switch on the ratchet wrench that allows you to change the direction of your ratcheting force, okay? Well, on the ratcheting pipe threader, you have a switch, so to speak, as well. And this is it right here. So you simply pull it up, turn it, put it back down, and that allows you to change the direction of your ratcheting force. So this is a one inch pipe and we got a one inch die head on our ratcheting pipe threader. So the first thing we wanna do is place our pipe inside our ratchet mechanism. And you do that by putting the pipe into this portion here. You don't wanna place the pipe this way. You wanna place the pipe heading this way into the ratcheting pipe threader. Let's do that. So we place it in like that. And we wanna make sure that our ratcheting switch is 
set. So our ratcheting force is going to be towards us or towards you, right? So we're going to be pushing it down towards us. Now we haven't started threading yet, but just to show you where the edge of the pipe is right now, right up against the edge of the teeth. So by the time we finish threading this pipe, the edge of the pipe should be all the way to the end of these teeth right here. And you don't have to go any further. Once it gets to this point, you should be done threading. Now, as you can see, I used my vise to hold this pipe in place, but they do have several pipe stands or pipe tripods on the market to hold your pipe in place for these specific applications. So you can do your research on that. So once you install your pipe into your pipe threader, you wanna apply some pressure with your hand to allow the teeth of the die to bite into the pipe so you can let the ratchet do the rest of the work and let your hand go. So let's do that. Now, as you can see, the teeth have started to bite into the metal. See how the metal is curled up there by the teeth biting into it? Once you feel the teeth biting into the pipe, that's when you can let your hand go off the die because you know the bite has taken. Okay, so you may have noticed I put a rag or a cloth underneath the threading tool. I did that because you need to lubricate the teeth while you're threading your pipe. And you're going to have to get some thread cutting oil, okay, to lubricate those teeth. So let's go ahead and lubricate the teeth while we're uh, in the process of threading. So you just pour it in there, okay, right on the teeth, and you can commence cutting. Okay guys, we're almost at the end of the die, as you can see. If you notice all that metal being churned up by those teeth, by that die. Okay guys, as you can tell, the pipe has reached the end of the die, or the end of the teeth here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the ratchet in reverse and back it up so we can cut off some of those loose curls and take it off the pipe. So I'm gonna put it in reverse now so that the arrow on the switch points away from me. Now I can push away now to cut some of those loose curls off, those metal curls. And once it's loose enough, I can just turn it by hand. And take it off. By the way, you might want to use gloves to do that because you don't want to get cut by these metal shards here. These are some of the metal shavings or curls that came off of the pipe while we were threading. So you don't want to get cut by these things. Okay guys, so after you got your pipe thread, you may want to take a pipe brush like this, okay? This is a Husky 6-in-1 pipe brush, you know? And you can clean off the threads of any excess metal sticking off.
Then you may want to deburr the pipe with a deburring tool like this to clean out the inside edges of the pipe. Then you may want to try it out. You got a one inch coupler, stick it on there to see if it threads. Yeah, goes on there. You got a one inch elbow. And you got a one inch by three and a quarter coupler. And you can take your pipe wrench and tighten them down even more. Okay guys, in part one of our pipe threading series, we learned how to use a ratcheting pipe threader, okay? But in part two, we're gonna learn how to use an electric pipe threader. That's part two of our series, and that's coming up in our next video. If you learned something today, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.